very well organized the shuttle to go from the hotel here to the uh, Orlando Convention Center. Good idea. So what I do, exactly, I'm gonna walk. No, not yet, but I will get it. I will get it later. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right super. Well, thank you so much. No problem. I'm going to tell her that you're here. All right. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Hi, Hi Dana. Catch you, Wolf. Nice to meet you. So it everything's so good. We, by the way. Oh. Let's see if I can get my badge somewhere around here. Hello there. Hi. How are you? I'm great. All right. Um, definitely. I would like to have my badge. MCC Resources. Good. I'm known here. All right, okay, that's good. There you go. Thank you, Mary Beth. Okay, thank you, ladies. Bye bye. Okay, as I said, first things first, I got my badge. I'm now going to N312. There is a, a session going on with US military and uh, police forces, and I'm not sure exactly where it is, but N320. So that's N312, which is all the way down there. Okay, let's go inside here with the DHS. You know, you bring up a good point because part of what s &T has gotten um, been a little more focused on is... Just walking out here in the session uh, of Homeland Security, they're creating a handbook for the first responder, the next generation. That's interesting because you would probably say they already have a handbook, something like that, or that... Six o'clock in the afternoon, day one IWC is finished. It's beautiful weather, I have a dry throat. That means only one thing, a nice refreshing beer. I need a, I need a beer, probably right now. Side of the state over the respective bodies of water. The Gulf nice weather. Will feature clouds, but not on top. Not that nice like yesterday, but it's overcast. It's about 20 degrees. It has rained, but later today the sun will shine. Let's move to IWC, day number three of the conference, day number one of the exhibition. I need to run to get into the bus in time because there's a shuttle service. Good morning. I thought about doing a little item on traveling on the bus to IWC, but the thing is that the ride is too short to do a proper yeah, item. <laughs> By the way, that is the Connect 365 team, and that's uh, <laughs> you probably know him. This is the place where all of the critical communications industry from the United States is coming together. It's kind of windy today compared to yesterday. It's the weather is bad. But inside, lots of things to see. Day number one, exhibition, critical communications industry here in Orlando. Good morning and welcome to IWCE 2018 in Orlando. Uh, and to spend a little bit of time talking about the journey that we're on, uh, building out this first net network that we've accomplished. Senator Rose having his keynote right now. Year. People are still busy working on the booths here at the exhibition. It's only a matter of 20 minutes. Well, this show takes off here at the Orange County Convention Center. Convention Center. Convention Center. I'm now looking for a few of the companies I am having a meeting with, trying to find my way around here. There are a lot of exhibitors here at this show. I'm not sure if the floor space in square meters is more than last year in Las Vegas, but definitely there are a lot of exhibitors. What are you carrying? A fish bowl. A fish bowl. For, test, for showing how waterproof our mics are. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Calm down now. Calm down now. Yeah, relax. <laughs> Have a little fun, right? Well, this is her beer. 
For beer. And it says get lit with us. It's not for a cell phone, that's for beer. <laughs> <laughs> so you, what do no you guys sell? <laughs> Beacons. Beacons? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can relay that to Beacons. <laughs> that's not a problem. I can. <laughs> I'm looking for Francesca Doyle, but I'm not sure if she's there. Hi Francesca, hey. how are you doing? Yeah, very good. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, you too. So, great booth again. Yes. And in, in yes. you're, you're a little bit of like the center of the universe here, is it? It's very good, it's very good. We're very happy to see you. So, I very happy with the stand, very happy with the space. So. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Shemek Mraz from Code and Radio Communications. I often go by Adam. Exactly. That's a little Adam, bit that's much better, is All it? Right. It's yep. still Polish, Adam. It's still Polish, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're here at the booth of Coden, as I said. Last year, we talked about moving, going from a box moving company to a complete solutions provider. Yes. Anything changed? We're still continuing on with that message. We're still expanding our capability. Um, Good. Well, we're continuing the development of our next generation uh, platform that's built specifically around IP capable systems uh, capability. Uh, we're focusing also a little bit more this year on our partnering. So all the other pieces that come into being a complete solution, we have a program that we're rolling out to certify some of these partners. Uh, we have a console solution with Avtac. Uh, so we're, we're really focusing on a complete system solution, beginning to end, cradle to grave, that we can offer. Uh, you know, in expanding this capability. We're looking at uh, uh, deployable LTE solutions as well in the band 14. Uh, so absolutely, we're continuing to find here in the space and really working in the space. For Motorola Solutions. Yeah. Les, you are extremely I'm busy here. Dude. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. This is, as I said, this is Les Miller. Les is going to show us around at the Motorola booth. What's new? What's new? Okay, so we have a lot of exciting things going on here. We're going to have to work our way through the crowd here, but let's see if we can get to some of the great right. things we've got to show you. Okay, you come I'll, follow, I'll follow Les. Yvonne. So one of the things we're most excited about at IWCE 2018 is our demonstration of the personal area network that we've developed for police officers. Person area network. Correct. So you need a person for that. That's just gentlemen. That's correct. <laughs> I do. So the general general idea behind this would be that we've been working very hard to develop these purpose-built solutions for our public safety customers. What Mike's demonstrating here with this solution is essentially our vision of what a possible officer in the future could be utilizing. So that would be our SI 500 body worn camera, the Lex L11 uh, LTE mission critical device, uh, of course, an Apex radio on the belt as well. And then we've also got integration to some other solutions that perhaps uh, Joe over here has got responder alert that he's wearing. Another person, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? So the, all right. the idea here would be to demonstrate how an officer might interact with all these different devices and solutions we've got to be able to optimize their day and make them more efficient, more effective, and safer. So leveraging whatever network makes the most sense for them at that particular point in time, they're able to do their job. We're all about how can we combine these devices intelligently to make them easier for the officers to use, to keep their eyes up and their hands free so that they're safer and more effective at what they're doing. And are they happy with it? Thrilled, ecstatic. I can imagine that. All right, that's one, Lex, one, Lex 11, right? Correct, so the Lex 11 is what uh, Mike is wearing here and what we've got in our hand as well. So this is a mission critical LTE device optimized for public safety. So the idea here is that we've taken uh, something that looks very much like a commercial grade smartphone, but is nothing like a commercial grade smartphone. Okay, so this is a ruggedized device, IP67, Gorilla Glass 3, all of the ruggedness you'd expect, but we've got a number of applications and capabilities that we built into this device specific for our public safety customers. So for example, emergency button built into the top of the device, just like you would have on your radio. So if the officer is in trouble, they can press this button and notify folks that they need help. They've also got a toggle switch on the top. So that if we're activating uh, we've got this actually connected to a, a radio via Bluetooth. One of our Apex radios can be on the hip or even in a backpack for a covert application and you can actually control the operation of the radio utilizing this button on the device. So we're putting together, again, that personal area network on the officer of an LTE device and an LMR radio that are combined and interacting in a way that makes their job easier. <laughs> Yeah. Nice sessions and um, a really huge competence, uh, concentration of competence. Fine. Let me let me do some testing here. So what is 
Okay, what 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 are you trying to to accomplish here? Magnetic mic is an accessory that works with any and all radio microphones. This adapter here slides over the back of any just handset. Slide it over. Lock it in with the set screw. Replace those metal hang-up clips with our magnetic base. All you have to do is get your mic close, let it go, hangs itself up. We're always talking about in our industry about smart solutions and then we think about apps, but it doesn't always need to be apps. Hardware stuff. It's all about hardware, actually, with this company over here. So, normally you wear this up here. You know, you have a earphone goes behind your ear. We have, see the, see the connector on here? We have uh, five different types of tops you can put on it. Okay. So you don't have to have this kind of top if you don't want. You can have other kinds of tops. This happens to be more like the secret service kind or the security agent kind, you know, people like that kind of stuff. This is the Zillow app. But I've tested, just finished testing it on the ES Chat app and it worked fine too. By the way, this is Dave George from Prime. That's an interesting, interesting development. You're going back from, well, not back, but you're having a solution developed on a wired connection. Right. The way, you know, there's been a lot of demand for a wired connection. Yes. Just because it's simple. There's nothing to charge. There's no pairing. There's no wireless issues. Now, so maybe in a, a large uh, deployment of product, uh, more people would benefit from a wired. It's just simple. You just and then you have a push to talk solution. And then it has a push to talk solution on here. For a smartphone. And you can see the red. The red means it's keyed up to Zillow. <laughs> <laughs> now it's starting to get interesting. Doyle's talking of applications for public safety. You should get in touch with this. Just break up. over. What, you, what was it all about? Probably everybody knows TJ Kennedy, former president of First Step. You're going to change the face of critical communications, am I right? Come back, Turk. You're still doing it. I'm still doing it. It's the end of the show. I can do that. The next step is making for three devices radio, speaker, microphone, and body cam, one device. Uh, we wish. Score for 1 to 10. I would say I give it a 10. 10 is good. 1 is Thank bad. You.